Hello, matriculants, um, incorporating students who are grading their metric, um, geography teachers, and people who are curious and learning more about geography. Today, we're going to be discussing again a topic um, under uh, valley climate, which is inversions and thermal belt. Or I can say it's a thermal belt. I can say it's a thermal belt. Né? This is the topic we're going to be talking about today because always in your question papers it also appears as thermal belt. Né? Yeah. So, first of all, for you to understand what is thermal belt, I think we should just get in into it, into our work. Okay? Yeah. So that I can explain to you. First of all, um, this thermal belt, thermal belt, um, it forms or begins to appear during night. You know? Yes. Why? I think you can see. As we or as we already discussed, our catapatic breeze. You can see. At our edges of, of our slopes, at the sides of our slopes, there is cold air that is going down to the slope. You know, that is why I'm saying it occurs during night or it forms during night. Thermal bed forms during night. Yes. As you can see, the illustration. Right? Yes. Um, so, basically, what happens? You can see the buildings um, in the valley floor. People have constructed buildings um, and factories. And you can see there's a lot of pollution. You know, between buildings, uh, even in cities or, or even in rural areas, there is always pollution from our buildings. Right? Yes. So, The pollution now is rising with warm air. You know, yes. You know, um, as we already know that there was only, we only discussed um, warm air which is rising during catapatic winds or terrestrial radiation, some sort of some warm air that is rising. But now it's not only um, warm air. Or terrestrial, or terrestrial radiation, you know, yeah, it's warm air and pollution or polluted air, you know, yes, it's those kind of as that are rising now, yes. While cold uh, air is going down the slope on the sides, right? Yes. So how does this thermal bed forms? Okay, yes. So the rising air will begin to rise during night right yes and also the the, the pollution that is uh, that has occurred um during out of the day and also the pollution that is occurring currently is rising right yes so as pollution rises with the warm air you know pollution polluted air polluted air is even weaker than there is less denser i can say is less denser than cold air so it's going to be also pushed to rise right yes so in the valley floor there will be cold air let me write it down cold air there will be cold air in the valley floor in the valley floor there will be cold air in the valley floor so in the valley floor you can see cold air coming down, cold air coming down, becoming dominant, pushing the warm air and the pollution to rise. Right? Yes. So as the warm air and the pollution rises, you can see there's also some cold air that is going down. Right? Yes. So as this warm air and pollution and polluted air are rising, they are going to to be suppressed by the other cold air that is going down the slope is going to be suppressed by this cold air there is cold air also here 
but it is cold. It is cold A. It's going to be pushed down while it also pushed up by the other cold air. So between this cold air and this cold air there will be some warm air which creates a thermal belt. So and now maybe um, you are quite confused because you know geographically and as I informed you that the higher one goes the colder it becomes. So now the thing changes, yes. The higher one goes the warmer it becomes. You can see the cold air underneath but as you go up you meet some warm air. You know so things now like they don't go normally. They are abnormal, you know, yes. So now the higher one goes the cold the, the warmer it becomes. It, it's not there the normal situation now whereby we say the, the high on cause the color it becomes you know yes so um, I think I should nail the fact that um, this is called um, temperature inversion right yeah this is called temperature inversion whereby um, the higher one goes the warmer it becomes right yes So yes, that's how thermal belt is formed. It's formed during night by those catapultic winds and so on. You can see, as I told you guys, please don't forget this during your exams. Um, yes, so there will be cold air over the thermal belt and also cold air in the valley floor. That means down underneath the thermal belt. So that means this warm air here is going to be trapped. Right? Yes. So th that will lead in the formation of a thermal belt or inversion layer. Inversion layer is the same as a thermal belt. Right, guys? Yes. So um, this um, creates abnormal weather conditions in the valley climate as you already know of the temperature inversion right yes so people will like um, some warm temperature living on the valleys um, on the rural areas and so on they will tend to to, to to develop or construct their buildings up the slope in the thermal belt or inversion layer. They will tend to to build their houses here. So people will tend to build houses around here. Right? Yes. But yes, you want some warmth? This will bring um, I can say a negative impact on your life. Yes. So this can cause because there's pollution here. There's pollution. This can cause um, sicknesses um, under respiratory um, system and so on. So this can create uh, respiratory problems by settling here on the thermal belt up here. Yes. Yes. And also, you can see there's warm air, warm air um, is humid and also the polluted air is going to cause some invisibility, you know, yes. You can't see through the polluted air, you can see while it's rising, uh, when it leaves the, the, when it leaves the factories, you know, you can see it's, it's, it's invisible and so on to see. So it's going to be invisible for people who are settled on the thermal belt. Yes. Regardless of the of the of the respiratory problems that can be caused. Yes. So when it's raining, okay, let me just write down the notes um, under this uh, thermal belt for you guys to note down some points for you. So I first said 
um, other people other people tend to other people uh, I don't know what's going on. other people will tend will tend to settle in the in the upper area in the upper area so that they can receive receive um, some warm you know yes so other people will tend to settle in the upper area so that they can receive some warm temperatures some warm sorry some warm temporary temperatures or they will tend to settle in the inversion layer or in the thermal belt other people you know yeah but the thermal belt can cause respiratory problems it can cause respiratory problems such as asthma, um, coughing, um, even TB, tuberculosis, you know, yes, because you, you, you're inhaling um, some chemicals straight to your, to your lungs, that can lead to those kind of respiratory problems, you know, yes. The other one, I can say a temperature invasion. I also told you about the temperature inversion. The the high one goes, or I can say an increase. Things changes now. Um, an increase. An increase in altitudes. Altitudes, an increase in altitude. Okay, you can say altitude is an increase in temperature. Is an increase is an increase in temperatures. Is an increase in temperatures. Yes, that's it. Yes. Um, but you know from our climate and weather, which is um, when we're talking about um, subtropical anticyclones and its associated weather conditions, we said the inversion layer. That means it becomes stronger in winter. That means it, it's it's so in this scenario, the thermal belt is going to be higher than in summer. So the thermal belt will be higher from this position. It will be higher. Then in summer, it will be in lower positions because of the um, amount of cold air because of the lower temperatures on the ground. So thermal belts will be higher in winter and in summer there's much warm air at least so the thermal belt will be at least lower in this position, yes. So I think you know that. Okay, let me just write it down also. The thermal belt thermal belt will be in higher position 
in higher in higher position position in winter done in summer and then in summer yes I explained that yes I also talked about uh, visibility right yes so it's going to be invisible here it's going to be hard to see things which are meters away far you know yeah so this thermal belt thermal thermal belt causes invisibility you know polluted air it's going to be quite hard to to see through it you know yeah invisibility um the other thing is that um you know your carbon dioxide your nitrogen every um gas that is said to be as pollutant is here so when it's raining the rain will pass through the thermal belt leading to an acid rain and also while i can say in other way while the warm air with the polluted air rises you know warm air is going to condense down because the color becomes then then you know the acid rain will will, will take place will be formed Yes, I can say um, it can result it can result in an acid rain. It can result in an acid rain, which is not okay, which is not good for things like crops for our health yes we drink water from the rain yes we receive water from the rain and therefore it's it's not going to be healthy for for humans that's number one number two the acid rain um can kill our crops our crops also needs some very very clean water with very very good nutrients you know yes so I can also say crops can also say crops can be also affected. Crops can be also affected okay i think we're done now with thermal belt it's easy guys it's straightforward if you understand the the, the catapatic winds it's easy for you to also understand this thermal belt thank you so much for the time and i hope you, you've learned something from my lesson and i wish you to to learn more from my lessons thank you so much and please don't forget to subscribe like and comment guys thank you so much see you